Hey, this is Don from DevExpress. In this video, I'll show you how you can incorporate a context menu into our Blazor data grid. What is interesting to see here is that when we right click any portion of the control, you'll see different items appear in the context menu. And this is also very important to notice because the functionality is slightly different. In this case, if I right click on any of the columns, I can en enable certain features like group panel, and I can even group by this column. If I right click on any of the groups, I'll get the possibility to expand. But when I right click on any of the data cells, I'll be able to edit or to cancel or save. So the context menu is populated with different items based on what you're doing at that particular moment. As I mentioned, there are two different types of actions. One is the column header right click and one is the data area right click. So let me first show you how I've set it up and after that, I'll show you how to incorporate this in your own application, which is quite simple. In Visual Studio, I have set up a new project using the DevExpress project template. And in this case, there is nothing new added in this particular application. Another thing that I've done is I've added this reusable helper class, the grid context menu helper. I'll go over this pretty quickly, but feel free to download this demo and check it out yourself. It's not that difficult. The first thing to point out is that I've created an enum which contains all the actions that can appear in the context menu. The second thing I've done, I've created a small class that will contain all the information needed for one menu item. It also includes this enum so I can identify what we're trying to do here. Then I have created two collections of those menu items. The first one are all the menu items related to a right click on the column header. The second collection contains all menu items that are related when right clicking on any of the data areas. Then there are a couple of methods inside this class. I'll go over them pretty quickly, but in general, these methods allow me to identify what we're trying to do here, which items should be enabled or disabled, are we allowed to, for instance, sort? That kind of, of helper methods are coded in here. And two other methods are the item click events. So what is going to be done when we click on any of those menu items inside the context menu? As you can see, the grid is all passed in as a parameter, so we can use this across our application on different portions and different grids. The second reusable thing that I've created is a grid context menu container. And as I mentioned, there are typically two kinds of context menus for the data grid. One is the column header click and the other one is the data row click. So for that, I'm actually gonna put in two context menus. The first one, is for the column header right click. And the second one is for the row context menu. We'll need to declare a number of properties here. The first two ones are the references to the menus. The second ones are the collections that are bound to the data properties of the context menus. In this case, we've got one 
for the column context menu and we've got one for the row context menu. And these will hold those menu items shown earlier in the helper class. And when we right click a context menu uh, concerning a column header, we'll need to have a reference to the grid column being right clicked. So that's why we have this first property here. And the second one is necessary when we right click one of the data rows. We'll need to have a reference to the row being right clicked. Then, because this is a reusable control, we'll need to have a reference to the grid that we're dealing with. So for that, it makes sense to declare it as a parameter. Then we're going to code in the item click events for both menus. And as you can see, they're slightly different, but they're pretty much forwarded to the grid context menu helper class. And it will execute those click events that we coded in there. Then the last piece of code that is in here is pretty much the initialization. So when you right click, something needs to happen. And whether it is executing this column context menu or this row context menu depends on the element type which is used here. The element type comes from the data grid when we right click somewhere inside the data grid. And what you'll see is that we'll populate the collection with the menu items and in the end, we'll show the menu. And this is for the row, but as you can see, it is pretty much the same when right clicking any of the column headers. So with these two files, we have a very reusable setup. Let's now see how we can enable this functionality in our control containing a data grid. For that, I have added two particular things in the DX grid declaration. The first one is the on context menu prevent default. And what this means is that if I put this in, and I right click inside the data grid, the browser context menu will not appear anymore because we want, we don't want that. We want our own. The second thing that I've coded in is the customize element. This is an event handler that allows us to identify which menu we need to do. What we also need to do is we need to declare, we need to include this grid context menu container control in our control containing the grid. And for that, we pass in a reference to the grid and we have a variable here that will hold a reference to the grid context menu container control. The last thing that we need to do is we need to code the grid customized element. And what we'll do here is depending on what element we're dealing with, we're going to bind an event to the on context menu DOM event. And with this in place, we pass in the grid and we pass in the method that we declared in the grid context menu container. And with this set, we have enabled a context menu into our Blazor data grid. And that's it for this video. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you can get notified whenever we release new content. Thanks for watching.